This is a cabin. This is a school. And this is a cabin inside a school. That's right, students in Rob Hill's construction class at the Pathways Innovation Center have built a full-sized cabin inside the fabrication hall at Pick. About 50 students helped construct the building, which will receive its finishing touches in the fall semester. The project was financially seeded by the Wyoming Department of Education's Career and Technical Education Demonstration Grant, but it took Pick students, Casper College students, and community partners to make it a reality. We partner with Casper College um, with our architecture program and we're the construction so it's a design build relationship where we came up with an idea they produce um, the set of uh, drawings that we take to the building department um, and then from there we build off of the approved set of plans. Students receive guidance, advice and training from Hill but they did all the work themselves. Students do everything in here except for the plumbing and electric which they help with. Um, so they do all the framing, the siding, the finish work, the countertop, the cabinets, um, everything in here, all the log work, um, windows, doors, everything the students do. The project did receive significant support from several community partners. Particularly Sutherland Zoe, uh, and then uh, Matt Reed with the, the Envision Electric and Corey Kopp with uh, Masters Plumbing. So they just all, every, every aspect of this, we've, we've had an industry partner that's come in and helped us. Doing the work themselves allowed for problem solving opportunities and in turn, moments for learning. I've learned a lot this year because we started from the ground up, so I learned everything you know, there is to know about building a house. Browberger has been in three years of Hill's construction classes, but other students learned on the job. Nobody's done a project like this you know, in high school usually, so um, it's a perfect training um, concept for him too. I didn't know anything at all. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I didn't even know how to use a nail gun. I barely used a hammer, so yeah, I've learned a lot. I knew basic knowledge on all the tools and saws, but this class has helped with experience. When a student uh, develops that independent learning part is the most rewarding part. Um, you know, we take, we train students on quite a bit of equipment and, and all of this is new to them, but as they continue to develop those skills and then turn that into independence, that's the rewarding part of it. And while some of these students will apply the lessons learned in different career paths, many, like Browberger, are jumping straight into a skilled job. His experience and the OSHA 10-hour certification he received in the class gives him a head start. It's been a great opportunity because it's going to help me get a job because I also got OSHA certified while I was in the class and I get a lot of experience that I could take with me when I graduate. This type of project wouldn't be possible without the Pathways Innovation Center, a state-of-the-art facility that students from all of Natrona County's four high schools can attend. The PIC provides classes that allow for opportunities for authentic, hands-on learning. It builds on your knowledge and helps you experience a lot of things that you won't experience at the home school. This project is perfect for the PIC facility. We can work through the winter in here. We have um, access um, to high-level advanced uh, machinery. We just can't do this in other places inside. It's new and I've never seen anything like it before and it's a good experience. I think everyone should try it. It's been really cool and it's something I really enjoy, so I'm glad that they have a school like this. Students don't only learn construction skills, but through integrated courses, implemented math into the project. We needed to know how much this cabin weighed, so the math class uh, solved that problem. We know that this thing weighs 40,000 pounds from doing the estimation on it. Uh, the math class went through everything. They calculated all the materials uh, from the trailer all the way to, to the finished product. So now we know exactly what we need for um, axles and when we move it out of here. Ultimately, the students enjoyed the process of building the cabin. And through that joy, they obtained skills and a sense of accomplishment that they can use in their lives and or their careers. I think about when none of this was here and we were literally just walking through the framing walls and messing around and none of the flooring was down. And just looking at it now, it's just crazy to think that we've gone this far. And it's awesome. It just feels good to be 
outside and not cooped up in a classroom and using stuff, learning stuff that I'm going to use in life. This is the best project we've ever done and we had really strong uh, support from all of the stakeholders that were involved with it. Once completed next school year, the plan is for the cabin to be auctioned to the public, giving Hill and his new classes enough room to start the next project at PIC.